Haji Sefullah case is a very important constitutional case in Pakistan. Uh, this case was registered in 1988 and it, uh, the Supreme Court, uh, Court gave a verdict on this, uh, the same, in the same year. Uh, actually, uh, the Supreme Court gives a, 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 a unique, a, a, a different style of verdict on this case. When the Honorable Court held the dismissal of Junejo was unconstitutional, but court refused to restore National Assembly. Uh, this case was created after uh, the dismissal of Junejo by Zia in May 1988. Zia had dismissed Junejo because of some conflicts with him after the uh, Ojiri camp incident. And uh, after dismissing Junejo and dissolving the National Assembly, Zia appointed a caretaker government, but that caretaker government was without prime minister. So there was uh, no prime minister or the office of prime minister was vacant from May 1988 to the December 1988. So uh, we can say that Pakistan remained without prime minister for six months. Now this uh, vacuum the, uh, which was created by Lake of Prime Minister led to, a, it led to various questions. One of the most serious question was whether the action taken by government in the state period uh, were legally and constitutionally valid, whether those actions which government took during this period were legally valid, were they were constitutionally valid, whether all the appointments, all the orders that, that government made in the state period were valid or not. Uh, the court uh, gave a verdict on this case. In verdict, the court says the office of prime minister is necessary at all times for running the affairs of the country. Since the constitution of Pakistan provides parliamentary type of government to the Pakistan, and the parliamentary type of government is not possible without prime minister. When we are saying that, uh, saying parliamentary type of government, obviously the prime minister should be there. If there is no prime minister, then the government or, uh, or the system of government changes, changes from parliamentary to presidential form, which, uh, which the constitution does not support. So the lake of prime minister is a constitutional uh, this create a constitutional vacuum in this period and the go, uh, the court or issued the order that the prime minister must be for running the affairs of country and the caretaker cabinet with prime minister is tantamount to violation and breach of essential feature of constitution that is uh, it breach the parliamentary nature of the constitution and the court will neither con uh, condone nor condone such an action. So the court uh, for, uh, refused to protect uh, the orders they, or the actions that were taken by government in the state period because, they, uh, because without prime minister, the parliamentary nature of the constitution is harmed. Now this order uh, create uh, multiple effects on different departments. The federal government concluded that all appointments made during the state period were invalid. Hence, uh, the Ministry of Finance issued a press note that uh, forbidden 30 judges of superior court to perform their duties. As instance, in the order, it was further said that the legal consequences of individual acts and action already taken and suffered were left to be decided in individual cases when they were brought to the court. So when this issue of uh, thwarting 30 judges from performing duties was brought to the court, a review petition was issued by the Supreme Court that allowed those judges to work. So after a week, uh, those 30 judges of Superior Court start functioning again. And uh, the same was with for other departments as well. And uh, anyhow, this 
case uh, or this uh, constitutional case provides a legal solution for further issues and now it's clear that uh, the government of Pakistan is incomplete without Prime Minister and uh, the, uh, the government cannot run functions without Prime Minister being the parliamentary in nature the government must have Prime Minister thank you for joining take care goodbye